we've got to keep working as a team. Uh, we've got to, we got to uh, find a way to slow down the rush, and then we've got to find a way to rush the ball a little bit. Uh, we've got to tackle a little better. Uh, got to protect a little better. Um, obviously, turnovers made it difficult for us um, today. Um, we were minus several in turnovers, but um, we we got to be able to, to to defend the rush on defense, and then you know just keep working, try to get a little better in the running game on offense. Um, so told the guys the same thing. I said, look, we got to go back to work and and work hard this week and get ready. We're going to have another game about this time next Saturday. And um, so, uh, you know, told leaders we need guys to step up and dig down deep and, um, you know, find a way to, to practice hard and get ready to go play another one next week. Oh, we got to do a better job of stopping the run. It, it, it starts with being able to stop the run, and that'll help us with some of the play action pass. And we need to tackle better. I didn't think we, you know, from a distance without watching it, I didn't think we tackled very well. Um, but I would say, it, you know, it starts with we got to be able to stop the run. Oh, I mean, I would say it's probably a combination of both. You know, we get somebody hurt, we got to put other guys in. Um, we, we're, I mean, we're rotating quite a few guys in right now uh, because of that. I mean, it doesn't help us, but, um, you know, whoever goes in, they practice. We expect them to get lined up, make plays, and tackle and get guys down. What did you think of Garrett and the way he played? And what would a decision start Garrett? Well, so what we did with, with those two guys is we graded everything they did in practice all week. And uh, he had just a ever so slightly better grade than Gunner. So uh, we started him for that reason. Um, once he settled down, he, he, you know, he made some plays. Uh, I mean, obviously turnovers are, are, are difficult. Uh, but, but, uh, but he made a few plays. Um, you know, I'd have to look and watch the tape. Um, a little more difficult to see offensively, you know, from that perspective. Um, but. Um, he, he made a few throws, yeah. But, but you know, we'd, we'd like to be able to minimize turnovers. Yeah. On those turnovers, did you sense anything different from him? Did you feel like there was any panic? Did you bring him then he seemed to respond well? Oh, after that? Oh, I think he was fine, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see it as being an issue. Huh? The, the difficulty that Garrett faced, Mike, was notwithstanding, would, would your concern post this game be, would start with defense? Well, I, I, not, I guess I'm not understanding the question. It's not so much that you came in shorthanded at quarterback, it's the defense just didn't stop anyone. That, that seemed to be the story, is that fair to say? Well, they rushed for 350 yeah. yards, and so uh, it's going to be extremely difficult to, to perform well as a team and play when you give up those kind of rushing yards. Schematically, was there anything you weren't prepared for with that they didn't run today? Uh, I heard them uh, one, one scheme um, that was different that we hadn't seen. Maybe they got, uh, you know, during an open week. But um, I, I didn't think we tackled very well. I thought in the open field we had a chance to get guys down. We didn't do a good job of tackling. Did you guys change anything up defensively at halftime to try to counter what Neil was doing and the run game was doing? Um, yeah, a couple things. But um, I, I would have to wait on that to, to get out there until I watch the tape to see exactly uh, on that. But, but there was a couple things that we tried to make adjustments on. Um, I, I still think I'm going to lean back. We didn't tackle very well. Um, but uh, but we'll, we'll have to see after I grade the tape. Is that the product of late? It's late in the year. Guys are tired, beat up. I mean, mm -hmm. usually the coaches sometimes say it's tackle was effort. Yeah, it's you know I, I didn't see guys not trying. I didn't see effort problems. Um, it almost looked like we just weren't fundamentally good at wrapping guys up. We bounced off and got our head down at times, and that's difficult. You, you know, when you get guys in space like that, you got to be able to get them down. That said, how hard is it to improve tackling this late in the season? Well, you just keep working on it, and. Um, um, it's not hard to improve. We just need to stay consistent. We need to stay consistent with our drill work and, and be aware of what happened and why it happened. I think the most important thing 
um, whenever you come up short is to identify why it happened and what's some, some type of a short-term solution to get better for next week. I think that's really where you're at at this time. Well, I think it's everybody. I, I wouldn't say it was, uh, um, you know, it'd be hard to say exactly, but I think there's times as backers we, we miss tackles. There's times, uh, I know there's times as D linemen we miss some tackles. So I think it was just kind of everybody contributing. Um, they just need to clear the mind, settle down, see what's happening, uh, you know, and be able to run and tackle and wrap and get guys down. Oh, I don't know necessarily a struggle, but when you start to lose considerable number of players and replacing people, then things get a little more difficult. Um, how difficult they can get, I don't know that any coach ever knows. You, you've got to go play the games. Um, but, you know, when, 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 uh, when you're starting to work guys that are inexperienced and young and then you're shuffling guys around, it, you know it's going to be a little more difficult. The, today, um, did I think he would? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, we go through the same thing with him. This has been a few weeks now. We try to decide late in the week where we're at with him, and uh, we just felt like that um, that he wasn't quite ready to to go out and play in this game. Will that be the routine again this week as well? Will that be what the routine with him again this week as well? Um, well, we would have to reevaluate, and we reevaluate all those guys on Monday. Um, I, you know, without watching the tape, it'd be unfair for me to really give an opinion and, and hear everything going on and wait and see what actually happened in the games. But um, I thought he competed and made a few throws. Um, you know, he might have forced a couple that he, I'm sure he'd like to have back. But, uh, but I thought he competed and, and, and played hard. Um, you know, I, I would hate to uh, put a guy out for the first time and early in his career and then they make a couple of mistakes and yank him. Um, you know, I don't know that there's any right or wrong, but uh, I think you, you, you know, you, you give him a chance to fight through some stuff versus, you know, that would have been with nine minutes to go in the first quarter. So that would have been a little, little difficult in my opinion. Well, I can't hear you because of that. Oh, so what, did you have an opportunity to be able to ask him or tell him anything about how he did after the game? Who, Rangel? Oh, I haven't. So I haven't. I mean, I talked to the team. I haven't visited with him yet. Uh, but I, you know, I was telling him during the game he's doing good or whatever halftime and and all. It's just normal. Yeah, I, I, I hope they respond. I mean, that's kind of the way life is. Um, we try to teach them that, and we have a culture that, uh, that should extend, it to, extend itself to them to understand that sometimes things don't go your way. Um, and uh, they, they have to understand that uh, we, all, we all start over again tomorrow morning, and uh, we have another game, like I say, every Saturday to y'all. And guys have to get ready to go, and and uh, and I challenged them. You know, I challenged the leaders, the mature guys, and we all face adversity and things in life that don't go our way, and that's just kind of the way it is. Uh, one good thing about college football is that's what it teaches them. So I would expect them to um, be critical of themselves. I expect the coaches to be critical of themselves and grading tape and um, looking in the mirror and saying, okay, here's what we did. Here's what we can do better. Uh, and come up with some answers and, and practice well this week. It sounds simple, but there really is no other alternative. That's the only way. Is there anything that you feel like you or your staff can do to try to break through the delays that's come over the team last couple weeks? We just have to come up with plans and co You know, we, we did the same thing this week that we've done my 18 years here. 
we came up with plans. We practiced. We, we did everything the same way we have. We just um, – they made some plays we didn't. We, we missed some tackles and didn't protect as good at times. We turned the ball over at times. But we do the same things that, that we've done my 18 years here. All good. The, the running game troubles is – how much of that is pre-snap? They're not exactly sure who to block or how much of it is they're just not blocking? Um, well, I, I, I don't think there's – there's – ever a time they don't know who to block. Um, I think there's um, times that maybe they slipped off, fell off blocks, so on and so forth. But that's another one that's difficult for me to talk about without watching because once they all get jumbled up in there, I can't really see. When I watch the video you know, and run it back, I get a better chance to get a feel for what, what's going on. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.